I want to take a second here to address a topic I've been kind of following uh, since a few weeks ago, and that's the whole Zimmerman case. And I want to discuss this fact that I'm seeing so many people just, uh, to pardon my language, just losing their shit over the fact that Zimmerman has been released on bail. Uh, and I'm like, why are people acting like this? Why are they acting so enraged that he's being given the benefit of the system? The system that benefits all of us as citizens. There's nothing unusual about someone on Murder 2 being released if they're not a flight risk, if they don't pose a threat to the community. Zimmerman is neither of those things. He had chances to run, he didn't. As soon as he was charged, he turned himself in. It wasn't like he's been on the run. People act like he's been on the run since this happened and they just caught him. He was not charged with a crime. As soon as he was charged with a crime, he turned himself in. You also have to consider he's a person who is involved in his community. He's thought highly of by a lot of people in his community. Uh, he's a decent citizen. He's someone who has never committed a violent crime and been convicted in his life. He's someone who has not shown any propensity to do things like this again, to be a repeat offender. It seems like it is an isolated incident. Uh, so I don't know why people are acting like that's such a bad thing that he's being given the benefit of the system. He is innocent until proven guilty. He has not been tried, yet he has not been found guilty of anything. So treat him like any person, any citizen, is a citizen of these United States, and give him the benefit of the system. Now, uh, people keep asking me, why am I talking about uh, Zimmerman? I'm one of these people that I don't believe in just uh, you know, extolling the virtues of something you believe in. You also have to acknowledge the negatives. When something bad happens that involves guns or anything like that, you have to acknowledge it. If someone made a mistake, you have to acknowledge it. You can't just talk about the good and ignore the bad or all your opinions are worthless. If you cannot acknowledge that something you believe in is not 100% perfect, well then you're not a person who has a reliable opinion. I'm a person that I will say good things about guns every chance I get, but I will also acknowledge when they've been used improperly or someone with a gun has been uh, involved in something they shouldn't have been involved in or done something they shouldn't do. So I will talk about it. I've been received a lot of praise for talking about it. I've also received a lot of slack from a lot of you know uh, morons out there who just want to call names and scream and yell and make a big scene out of it because they want to let their own personal uh, preconceived notions or prejudices get in the way of the actual facts of the situation. But the facts are right now, the man's charged with a crime, he hasn't been convicted. Our system allows him to be out on bail. Let him be out on bail. Now, how do I think it's going to go? I think it's going to go one of two ways. I think if the jury is allowed to, uh, to uh, consider a lesser crime, he will be convicted of a lesser crime. Because that's the most I think he should be convicted of, is a lesser crime. Uh, if, he, if the jury is for some reason or another not allowed to consider a lesser crime, then I think he will be uh, found innocent, which is the way I think it should go. Because do I believe he's innocent of any wrongdoing? No, I do not. I still believe that the whole incident was set in place by Zimmerman, and he bears the responsibility of, the of, of being the person that initiated the incident that ended in the death of an innocent person. So I believe he bears the burden of guilt for that. Uh, is it murder too? No, I don't believe that. So, if the system wants to charge him with a more severe crime than he's guilty of, without considerations of lesser crimes, well then I think he should be found innocent because he is not guilty of murder too. So, and that's the way it works and people have to accept that. If you were charged with something, you would want to be given the benefit of the system. You'd want to have every benefit allowed you by law. So allow this man to have the same thing that you would want. Allow him to have the benefits allowed to him by law as a citizen of the United States. Allow him to be tried. Allow him to be innocent if he's innocent. If he's guilty, he'll suffer the consequences. But it's not up to you or me to determine that. We can state our opinions. It's our right as citizens to state our opinions. It's our right as citizens to draw attention to something that we think is wrong or right. But it is not up to us to play judge, jury, and executioner. And I, for one, am perfectly willing to say, I think he's guilty of a crime. But I'm also perfectly willing to say, if the state tries him improperly and he gets off, I'm absolutely okay with that. If the tr state tries him properly and he gets off, I have to accept that that's the way the system went, and maybe he's innocent. I don't know everything. Uh, I can't say that I know more than a judge and a jury that's actually sitting on a case. So if I end up being wrong, I have no problem saying I'm wrong. Don't be one of these morons that wants to go in and scream and yell and show your ignorance just because your preconceived notion isn't jiving with what you're seeing happening. Accept things for what they are. Let the system work. And shut your mouth if you can't accept that.